If you're looking to learn how to create a single property squeeze page and how to promote it, then keep watching this video because I'm going to show you step by step of how to do that exactly, whether it's your own listing or not. My name is Tarmila Rajasingh. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader with DXB Realty Brokerage. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get updates on new content like this. And if you want to learn more about KV Core, head to my playlist, click on KV Core, and view as many of the free trainings available there as possible. And again, if you want to see more of you know different topics, different things, uh, you know, share with me, send me a DM on Instagram, put it in the comment section. I'd love to know. And if you have any questions at all throughout this video, make sure you leave it in the comment section as well. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And make sure you watch this video to the very end because I'm going to give you some information as to how you can partner with me and how you can get access to all my training for free, including my KV course setup, marketing lead generation course as well. And one of the things that I wanted to show you before I get started is just giving you some information about what is an IDX squeeze page. IDX is pretty much a feed of the MLS system directly into your website. And the squeeze pages is pretty much kind of like a landing page, but it's a link to a page of list of properties. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to actually take create a link to one property, a single property, whether it is to whether it is your own listing or not, and how to grow your database doing that. And if you're a new agent, this is a great strategy, a great tool to leverage because you can actually use other listings, other properties that are on the market currently that isn't even yours to actually grow your database. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a second. And the most important about this video, which is going to be really useful for you, is how to creating a, how to create a landing page is super easy. And there's trainings within KB Core how to do that. But what I'm going to show you today is one example of how to actually promote this page to bring in leads. And what does that actually look like? So let's get started. I'm going to pick, make my camera a little bit small as I always do so that you can see more of this tutorial and you can follow along. So if you're wondering what a squeeze page is, I'm gonna actually promote one of my one of my agents listings that is currently on the market right now. And I'm gonna come here and show it to you. So this is on the back end of KV Core and this is right here. So if you go to listings and search the address or the MLS ID, it's gonna show you the property. Remember, the property that you're looking to promote has to be on the market and it has to be public facing. It has to currently be available on the market is what I'm saying, is because it's gonna show you, take you directly to the property that, that they can actually interact with. And that's kind of the point of the, the single page property is that you're using the property that's currently on the market right now to build your database. Why this is important is if you can promote your own listing, that's great. As you guys know, there's so many different things you can use within KV Core tools, free tools within KV Core to grow your database. And you can actually leverage to do a lot of different marketing stuff and social media tactics that you can do outside of KV Core to also grow your database when you have a listing, which is why when you're a listing agent, you keep growing is because you can leverage your own listings to bring in more leads. And if you want to learn how to do that, head to my marketing course as well. And there's a ton of different videos here on my YouTube channel about this as well, how to really market your own listings. Couple of nuances I want to mention is that if you're a new agent, this is a great tactic because you can come here, get permission from other realtors within your brokerage or not, and start promoting properties that are currently on the market to bring in leads. And this is a great example of one of the examples of how you can do that. So when you click on the direct link right here, it's going to take you to the page that is front facing so the end user can actually see. And this is really important. It actually opened up my I'm going to fill this in as if I'm a lead. I'm going to do that is because so that you can actually see what this looks like. Sorry, my computer is being a little bit slow right now. And this is really important because this is actually showing you in real time what when this page comes up, I immediately set for people the lead capture to become on the pop up and I can grab the lead. So when your leads come to a page like this, this is a great example of a squeeze page and they come to this listing. It is the pop-up is enabled for them to fill in. So if you click on this little this little box, continue with email, you're gonna it's gonna actually take you to the page and it's gonna register you as a lead. Sorry, I'm not sure why this is not working. There you go. So I am going to actually show you. So the, the reason why I want to show you this is because they can interact with this page as much as possible. It's going to show you as an agent for them to connect with. You can 
you know, ask to see the property. You can ask questions from here. And these are all the information that is available on the MLS system that for them to interact with. And this is a rental that I want to show you. And this is a great example because it's really important because this audience, the renters are, uh, are different than investors or sellers. And it's really important that you categorize them and label them correctly so they were able to do marketing for them. So one of the things that I wanted to mention is that is the front facing website. So this is the link that you want to send them to so they can interact with this page. And when they start to view this property, you can and you can capture that lead. They not only show up on the back end, but you can see what other properties are looking at if they were to navigate your website, which is great. And that's exactly what you want to do. The reason why, you know, to kind of walk you through that journey, and I like to give that kind of information to you is so important, is because remember, this lead that is coming in from the squeeze page is meant to be nurtured over time. It's about growing that database, and lead generation is really the beginning stage of you growing your business. There's tons of follow up and nurturing involved in order to build that no like trust factor so you can convert them into a client and start to work them, put them on contract, et cetera, and close that deal. So it is really important that you're bringing in a lot of lead, but it's even more important to get to know them, build that relationship. And there's a ton of different ways you can do that. And if you want to learn how to do that, make sure you uh, head to my playlist about KV Core. There's a ton of different content that is either coming up. So great time to hit that subscribe button and where you can view the ones that are already currently available. So let's kind of walk you through and build out a squeeze page that I'm going to show you today. So when you sign into KB Core, and for those of you that have access to KB Core, if you're with DXP, you get access to it for free. And if you're with another brokerage and you have access to KB Core, it is really important. And if you want to know what this is, there you can click on the uh, the link in the description below and click a demo. If you have no idea what KB Core and want to see in real life what that looks like and how to really use it for your business, it is the number one rated real estate technology. It is not just a CRM. It is also your IDX website that is connected to the nucleus, the backbone of your business, which is your CRM. And it is also a lead engine, a lead generation engine, which is going to pull in leads for you. It's going to help you automate and nurture leads in one place. It is all of your business operation that can be managed in one place. And that's why I love this system so much. So let's get to when you click on lead engine, you come here and click to build a squeeze page, or you can come to this page where I'm already at, which is IDX squeeze page right here. And you're going to click on your domain and you're going to start building. And if you want to learn more about squeeze pages and what are all the other ones that are here, I do have a video in my playlist under KV Core about just an explanation about IDX squeeze pages with KV Core. So make sure you check that out. Today, in particular, we're going to focus on single property. And once you've created this and it gives you a link that you're going to use in all of your marketing to generate leads, what why what's so important is once you've done that, this is actually saved under history. So if you come to, you know, you can build it here. If you click on history, it'll show you all of the the squeeze pages that you've done, which is great because you can copy the link here in the event that you, for example, misplace it or you want to go and run, you know, multiple other promotions with this link. So let's walk you through and build out this build out the squeeze page. So I'm going to grab the MLS ID for this property, for this rental that my one of my agents in my group has just recently listed. So what you're going to come here is, of course, like I mentioned, this property has to be currently on the market so that it can show up here. And then you could click it. It's available for you. So you can put the address or the MLS ID here. Source is very important because this is where you can allocate exactly who, where the, the lead is coming from. This is really important because what gets measured gets managed. So it's really important that you know exactly where the, everyone is coming from and you're tracking. And that's why we're building out the squeeze pages because you can actually track where your leads are coming from. So you can pour more into it. You can do more of this. And trust me, when you see this working, send me a quick message, put it in the comment section. I want to know that you're using this and that this tutorial was helpful for you because it motivates me to do more that I'm helping as many of you as possible. And it's going to excite you to do more of these squeeze pages. You can do as many as you like. You can do it for multiple different sources. I recommend if this is your listing and you're promoting it, this is great because now you can put this in your listing presentation and you can go to your sellers, your potential clients and say, hey, I have this amazing tool that I'm going to use to promote your property. And it's going to get in front of as many people as possible. And But also it's going to grow your database too, which is great as well. And it's going to build your business. So I recommend that you put in your exactly where this is going to be promoted. That's exactly what it means, where they're going to come from. And in this case, I mentioned it to you that I want to show you, uh, I'm going to post it on my Facebook business page or you can do on the Facebook business ad. So 
you can do a Facebook ad through your business page. I mean, I get super passionate that I talk really fast. I know a lot of you ask me to slow it down, but I'm really glad that this is the video and that you can go and stop and watch it. But anyway, so you could put your uh, source as Facebook and then hashtag this is one of my favorite features within any CRMs. This is actually the one of the most important strategic, you know, features of any systems that you use is to how to categorize your database. Super important that you learn to know how to leverage this, what this all means. And if you want to know more information about it, head to my YouTube playlist for KB Core. It's free. There's a video that I've done on hashtags and what it all means, and I explain it to you. So make sure you have a naming conventions for your hashtag. It's really important. So, for example, in this case, I'm going to put the address name of the property because uh, every property that I do a single page property, a uh, single property squeeze page for, I want to label with the address and I want to put squeeze page so that I know exactly what this, where the squeeze page, what the, the, the audience is coming from, where they're coming from and what is allocated with this property and why this is important is this property is a rental and the people that are going to be viewing this property are usually people that are looking to rent uh, are looking for a property to rent and particularly more likely or not this type of property and the reason why you want to know that type of category of audience they are is that they're going to be nurtured and they're going to be pulled into your database and nurtured over time so that eventually when they go to another rental or eventually when they buy their first home you want to be that agent that they choose so they're in your database and you can work with them and nurture them so why or you could be the the, the co-op agent on this end to close this deal with my agent so that's why it's so important that you are leveraging these kind of tools because you can take all the properties that are currently on the market and find buyers for and in this case you want to make sure you label them correctly because the content and the email marketing that you can leverage through this system again for free you can send out videos content blogs name it you can send it directly to the audience type because trust me, this audience type is probably not concerned with getting content about being an investor or a seller, most likely or not, but they're more interested in getting properties potentially to buy in the future, getting them ready to buy the first property, more rentals, whatever it may be, or just even generic market information to just get them nurtured. So that's how I'm going to label them. So again, follow your own naming convention and have something in place for your business. The next on the on the page is properties views allowed before registration and that is pretty much what you're telling the system to do is how quickly do you want that lead capture pop up to to come up before before you can capture them so it really important remember how i was telling you that when they come to this page this pop up comes up so that you can grab their information it is really important personally as a marketer from a strategic perspective this is my suggestion from from you know it's a strategy that i'm giving it to you from my own experience being a real estate marketer is i highly recommend that you put it as immediate as possible because you're promoting it a little bit different than you know what you would do on the on on your full facing website so you want them to kind of come to your website and navigate where in this case you're sending a list to this property and you're capturing their information because for me you really have a couple of seconds while they're on your page and whether they get distracted by the phone, a phone call, a text message, you want to grab them as quickly as possible and get their information in before they get distracted with all the noise online. That's just my strategy. You know, you could put it as default, which is, of course, is, is suggested by Inside Real Estate through KV Core. So that is also an option as well. Personally, I like to because I want this to this tool is being used as a lead capturing tool so I wanted to get it right away so what you're going to come here now that you filled out the form you're going to click generate link it's going to give you a long link and a short link and of course they're both important because a long link you can use it for Google Ads which is what they require or something like a Facebook post that I'm going to do I'm going to use a short link so that the copy is very you know concise and shorter so you're going to copy this link and when you were to copy this and you come here and you paste it in your URL it's going to take you to the property which I showed you uh, earlier what this is the front is front facing link to the property that's going to go. And of course, as you can tell this, I'm already logged in. So I didn't get that lead capture pop up that you saw right here, which in this case, the moment I go to this link, that's what it would show. In this case, I'm logged in. So it is not going to show. But again, it's going to take you here. It's going to show you as the agent. It's going to give them number of different ways to interact with the page again super important and 
why I love this so much is now you can take this link that 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 this is giving you. And again, it's saved under history. Like I mentioned earlier, you're going to come in and start promoting it. Of course, in this case, we're going to promote it on Facebook, but you can use it to promote it in many different places, like I'm going to mention to you in a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here. Sorry about that. Somebody's interacting with my business page. So I'm in my Facebook business page that my husband and I were partners and we do, we're business partners. And as you are, if you're following us on social media, you'll notice that we do a lot of things together for, for our real estate, but you know, YouTube, our Instagram, Facebook, everything's connected together as our unified brand. And this is our business page for on our Facebook. And I quickly wrote up a quick copy and pretty much it says for lease, check out this beautiful property in Whitby that just hit the market. This beautiful home features, a large kitchen spacious living area home office and children play area three bedroom three bathrooms and send us a message for a private showing you can put you know send us a message for more details and it shows you a quick image of the property of the property that is listed it's really important guys this is one of the important things that i want to mention this is really key if it's not your listing if it is your listing you better get a professional photography done you know that that's like 101 in real estate but if you if you are looking to use other listings that aren't yours make sure you get permission from that agent that's just a best practice to always follow that's always my suggestion so there's never a disagreement that pops up one and two i know in some states you can what you know you can whether you know every listing is owned by the brokerage i get it and you can just go ahead and stop promoting them because it is owned by the brokerage but at the end of the day the listing agent you don't know what kind of relationship they have with the seller and you want to make sure that you got in a thumbs up before you proceed forward so just just an fyi and the one of the strategies that i want to share with you is make sure these properties because they're not yours and if it's yours you would have gotten a professional photography and videography done but if it's not yours make sure if you're using to promote it make sure they have professional photography. Remember, this is your marketing piece. It, whatever, you know, the photos that are available from this listing that are available publicly is what's gonna show up in a lot of your marketing as preview. So it has to be eye-catching, it has to look good, it has to be sharp. So make sure that the photos that that are available you get to choose them and you come here and choose some of the preview of the, of the pictures that are available. Um, my computer's taking a little bit slow because I have a lot of links opened, but you get to choose what is available as well uh, within the within the listing. So there's a couple of images that are usually available and you could change them as well, which is really helpful. And you can you don't have to use this copy, but I you know want to keep it concise. You wanna, you know, you wanna make it you could use different copy and you could post it a couple of different times with different photos, but that option is available for you. Or you can come here and upload your own image and the link is right here. But if they can click it right away, which I love this, and it's gonna take them directly to the landing page which is this so that's exactly how you do it couple of different tips that i'm going to show you but i dive deep into all this stuff guys in my marketing course and that's exactly what you can get access to for free that i'm going to share with you in a couple in a couple of minutes why what what are some things you could do you can share these links in all of your youtube videos you can share them on facebook linkedin you can write a blog post about this article about this property you can do uh social media posts you can post them you could do a quick reel a short form content on instagram even a TikTok. on uh using obviously of course on TikTok. you can do all these kind of things to promote this property and they can all be added added as a value inside your listing presentation so that you can win that listing presentation that meeting with your seller potential seller client every single time. I hope this is helpful for you. You Now that you've gotten this far into the video, I'm going to give you some information as to how you can join my group and get access to all my training for free, including my KV course setup and marketing lead generation course that dives deep into some of the strategies I shared with you today, but even deeper. And why this is important is when you get to the description below, click on my link about joining my group. It's just a landing page that shows you on high level all the things you get. And you also get free access to my social media a tool that I've created with my business partner. It's a social media content platform that gives you social media for free, social media content for free, daily posts, strategy, everything done for you. Templates, also strategies that can grow your brand. So your content never looks similar to any other agents. Highly recommend you check that out. You can even also check out and create a free account here in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this is helpful for you. Once again, if you have any questions at all, I know I went through super fast, ton of information and any confusion whatsoever, leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them for you. Once again, always appreciate all the supports of everybody that comes here and watches content. I'll see you next time. Once again, my name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader with the XP Realty Brokerage. I'll see you next time. Take care.